Hey folks, what's going on today? It's Wednesday, September the 12th. It's about 7.15 a.m. in the morning. I'm gonna be on my way this morning to check out a swarm that's up in a tree. Uh, it's actually over near a doggy daycare center. So I figured I'd grab the camera, bring you guys along, see if I can knock the bees out of the tree and get them into um, a box, and we'll wrangle up some bees. So stay tuned and get yourself comfortable. Hope you enjoy. Hey folks, so we're over here at the uh, site of the swarm. Uh, it's not really a big swarm. Sometimes when folks send you a picture, it really looks a lot bigger than what it is. But I'm really happy to have come and get these bees. Uh, check it out. It's not really a big uh, swarm at all. It's a smaller colony, but it's really in easy reach uh, on the shrub line here. And here they are, folks. You'll see. We got a nice little row of hedges. And this little swarm is right in here. But I can already tell that they are some gentle bees. And I don't think they have any comb up in there. So what I'm gonna do, uh, these bees maybe have been hanging out since Sunday. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to put a box here on the bottom and I'll just shake them out. And I did not bring a nucleus box. Uh, so for now I'm going to put them in a 10 frame and they should be happy. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so as you saw the swarm was right in there. So I'm going to put a, put a box right below them. So here's my setup. Um, I don't know if you can tell in this video or not, but we are on a hill. Uh, so this is a nice little slope here. So what I had to do is I actually took a five frame nucleus box and I kind of propped it to level out this box that I'm going to shake the bees in. And you'll see here I have some lemongrass oil and some honey. So what I'm going to do and this is not necessary. Some folks will probably say this is nonsense, but uh, in my experience, it helps a lot. Even though this colony is smaller, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little lemongrass oil on a cotton ball, and I'm just gonna put it on the frames, and then I'm going to drizzle the honey on the top of the frames as well, and then I'm going to shake the bees down, and this should hopefully get them interested in the box My name is Tim. Tim? Yep. Okay. You're welcome. So I'm going to have to move this box a little back. So I'm going to bend the branch right on down to get a, the bees almost on top of the box and I'm just going to give it a quick shake. Me, yeah. Can you have a moment, the manager, the general manager on the phone, she's like speaking to you. Oh, sure, sure.
Well, folks, we can consider that a false alarm. Uh, I just got a phone call from the general manager of the pet company here, and apparently there was already pre-arrangements for another beekeeper here in the area to come collect these bees at four o'clock. I was not aware or informed of that, so I got enough hives already. Uh, they're donating this. I don't know who the local beekeeper is that's going to get them, but I'm going to pack up and, and walk away. Anybody out there that tries to do bee rescues, uh, coordination ahead of time is the best way to go. So this put me uh, inconvenienced. It was about an hour with the construction just to get over here. Uh, and now I got to pack up my stuff and leave. So I'm going to leave the bees in the bush. Uh, and this is a lesson learned. Um, my fault. I should have uh, called the manager ahead of time yesterday and spoken with her directly but I was working obviously with an employee through Facebook uh, through messenger that was just giving me all the info so oh well sora sora there's lots of bees in the air this is September here in uh, southwest Florida this is swarm season so uh, there's no loss here I'm not heartbroken there's gonna be a ton of bees to collect and uh, this is a good learning experience so sorry for the false alarm folks but thank you for watching anyhow if you did tune in I'm gonna do my best to get some more videos uploaded and let you all know the activity here that's going on and here they are very gentle bees it's not that big of a of a cluster it's a nice size we've got maybe well maybe a pound two pounds at the most so okay sada sada have a good day folks Hey, what's going on folks? Uh, today is a day that really sucks. Um, just everything goes wrong today. As you can see, my glasses broke today at work. Um, they're about ready to fall apart. They snapped right in the middle. I don't have any super glue or anything to use. Uh, I got called on a uh, bee removal. I go out first thing in the morning and then I was informed somebody else is going to do it. The traffic sucks today, uh, construction all over the place. It takes me an hour to go somewhere that usually would take 15 or 20 minutes. And there we go.